welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Minnesota Twins going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. And now here's the starter for Atlanta, Spencer Strider. And Singy, he's a workhorse, loves pitching deep into his starts. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. Off the mark there. Two balls, no strikes. Two and oh. Good eye right there. Three balls, no strikes. And a 3 0 finds his own. There's a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Left-hand hitter waits. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Kickoff move to first, and he dives back in safely. And a 1 1. Breaks his bat and pops it up. And Polanco is out, and there's one down. Here's Royce Lewis. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Popped up. Makes the grab, and there's two away. Ball's just not carrying the first tonight. <laughs> now, you would actually say that to your teammate in the dugout. No, I'm not that cruel, but someone would say it to me, and I'm sure it's probably been said before. Now batting Max Kepler. In there, and it's 0-1. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end, trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Check swing didn't go. Two and one. Throw to first, and he's back in easily. Kepler swings and drives one deep to right. That one's carrying. And it's off the top of the wall. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. 
Well done. Drives in the run. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And here comes Carlos Correa. Gets the call. Strike one. Breaking ball through there for a strike. All you got to do is concentrate and execute this next pitch. Get yourself out of the jam, back into the dugout. Rudder at second, two down. And that one in the air center field. Harris makes the grab. And that will end the inning. And the Twins plate one on the double. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Atlanta, starting on the mound in this one, Joe Ryan. What's the scouting report on him? Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate now. That's ball one. The 1 0. Swing from Acuna. Big drive. Deep left field. And that ball is gone. A solo blast. And we're starting over. It's 1-1. One, one. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that basketball. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ozzie Albies. That misses. 1-0. and oh. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Tied up here in the early going. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Yeah, but kind of hard to believe, but Ozzy Albies, first second baseman in Braves history to win a silver slugger. And he's won multiple silver sluggers now. Falling behind two and one. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Right hander kicks deals. That misses. And yeah, the count is filled up. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Downstairs and it misses ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Here's Austin Riley. And there's a foul ball. Go, 
Runner at first with no outs here. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. And that misses oh, off the outside edge. The one two. And the one two misses to even the count. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. And it's filled up. Matt Olson on deck for Atlanta. Three two. In the air, left field. Number 47 moving under this one. And it's caught for the out. Batting four. The first baseman. Matt Olsen. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Albies, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And that one is in the dirt. Two balls, no strikes to count. And another ball. Well, again, with the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. Marcelo Zuna waits on deck. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. Matt Olson blasts one out. And they add a pair. It's 3-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate that he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Big time power. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And a pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Next nope. offering misses, and the count one and two. It's a good take. Fights that one away, still one and two. The wind and the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Still only one out here in the inning. Started to swing, held up. Oh, this guy's gonna have to slow things down. There's no reason for him to even check swing on that pitch. It was never even close. And now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's the second out. Well, getting a good look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Two outs, base is empty. So here's Murphy now. 
And that's outside. Hit hard on the ground ashore. Tosses across the first. And that ends the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And this is now a three one ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back at Truist Park, top of the second. Now here is Ryan Jeffers. And the right hander back to work. Ball one and a pitch inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Umpiring behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. That one misses, and now 3-0. and Yeah, Fillmore, kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's umpire, but really consistent, very fair. That clips the zone, and now 3-1. and Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. This is Willie Castro. That misses off the outside edge. The 1 0. Slap the other way, foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Not close with that one. Yeah, that's ball two. The pitch. That's down and in. Donovan Solano to bat next. Nobody out. Runner at first. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Here's Donovan Solano. Ball one there. And he deals. It's side corner for a strike. And it's one and one. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Riding to the plate. And now two and two. And now two and two fastball and he gets out of the way you see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in want to try to tie him up that's the one thing we're seeing that high fastball you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings 
and it's ball four. He missed down low. Good patience to take that walk and keep the line moving, and it sets up a critical at bat coming up with the bases loaded here. And here is Michael A. Taylor. First offering misses the mark. In the air, right field. And Acuna able to make the grab. Runners tagging from second and third. Throw home, not in time. The run scores. They trail by one. It's 3 2. So the lineup flips over. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, number 47. The walk and a run scored his first time. And it's fouled away. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Left hand batter waits. That one missing inside. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next pitch has popped up. Out number two. Now the number two hitter, Jorge Polanco. First time up was a pop out. That one not close. And yeah, that's ball one. Two outs. There's a strike. Here's a 1-1. Good eye right there. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Here's a 2-1. Good eye in that spot. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Royce Lewis would be next. Big bat with a potentially huge opportunity. Kicks and fires. Ground ball Olsen. He handles it himself. Third out. So they pick up a run on no hits, but they leave two men on. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Braves three and the Twins two. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. Here's Kevin Pillar. The left fielder, Kevin Pillar. And here it comes. And that's outside. Ball one. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Hauls it in for the out. Batting eight. The shortstop. Orlando. Here's Orlando Arcia. Arcia. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Now a screamer into the outfield. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Everything came together for him. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. One out, runner at second. Michael Harris digs in now. 
First pitch just misses. And that's in there at the knees. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Makes the grab. Two down. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. The solo homer his first time. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. That one's in there 0 and 1. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. The 0-2. High fly ball, right field. Kepler moving under it and makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Braves strand one, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And now for the Twins, Royce Lewis. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Swings and misses. And it's on to. On the ground, right side. Albies over to first in time. And one away in the top of the third. Max Kepler at the plate. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. That's in there. That's strike one. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Next pitch inside, and one and one. And that one a little bit high. Two one. but call the ball and the count is three and one and that one is in for a strike righty delivers 99 miles per hour to finish him off here's Carlos Correa Flied out to center in his first at bat. And that's in there for strike one. And strike two. Wind of the pitch. That one missed. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Next oh, one is God. off the play. Now two and two. Oh, 
And downstairs. And a payoff pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Down go the Twins in order. They trail it 3 2. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Ozzy Albies. The pitch. That one outside, and it's one to know. Swing and a miss. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. And the pitch. Oh, great grab on the dive. Fires to first. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Nice diving stop right there. Gets the out. Great reactions. Excellent job of finishing the play with a nice, easy throw. So up next, Austin Riley. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. In there, and it's 0 1. The pitch. Next offering misses down and away. 1 and 1. A little bit low. Two balls, one strike. Misses off the play. And that's ball three. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. Two up, two down. The the first base is two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Matt Olson. He's already homered in this one. In there for strike one. Up the middle. Correa over to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Down in order, go the Braves. But they're up three to two. Back here in Atlanta, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Ryan Jeffers. Strider back to work in the air to left center Harris after it puts it away for the out and now the Minnesota designated hitter Willie Castro he reached out a walk his first time 
That Ready? one's in there, 0 and 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering is in for a strike. Lifted in the air, out to left. Pilar hauls it in for the out. And a couple of quick outs. And now the first baseman, Donovan Solano. Missing inside, ball one. And that's outside. Two zero, -oh. and that's in for a strike. Fly ball, center field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three, and it's still a three-two ball game. at Truist Park. Now it's the DH, Marcelo Zuna. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That's in there, and that's strike one. They say it went. Pitch misses there. Going to count one and two. Good That's eye right through. there. Ground ball up the middle. Polanco. Tosses to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Here's Sean Murphy. Grounded out his first time up. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Ground ball left side, and foul ball. And the right-hander deals. That's a slider for a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Stays alive. Swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Two outs, base is empty. Kevin Pillar, the next to hit, flied out his first time. That one off the mark, and that is ball one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. That's a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Got him looking for the strikeout. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Braves are set down 1-2-3, but they still lead at 
Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Well, one run game, and now the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor, drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. The pitch. And ball one. In there at the knees. And the count one and one. Now fly ball to right center. Harris has a beat on it. Makes the grab one down. That's a big first out right there. And that changes things. Yeah, you can kind of see how just the hope and optimism is shrunk a little bit, but they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. Number 47 in the box now, takes strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. The next pitch misses. One and two to count. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. The Twins down to their final out. Jorge Polanco, the next twin up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. 3-2 the final score. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.